What's going on guys? Jason here from Jason Back Fishing coming to you with a long anticipated video. Guys, it's been a horrible last few months and I apologize once again for that video. But enough of that nonsense. Let's get to this video. Mystery Tackle Box has come out with something pretty special now. They pretty much got pro boxes now for all their species. They got the pro bass box. They got pro trout box, pro ice fishing box. And what I got today is right down my aisle. And that is the Mystery Tackle Box Pro Panfish Box. I'm going to put a link down below where you guys can get yours. Get a little bit of a discount on your box on your first one. Let's crack into this baby and see what we got. I'm pretty excited about this. Get the knife out. Get this bag open. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Alright. So, if anybody knows, the Mystery Tackle Box is have this tape measure. You go to mysterytacklebox.com backslash um, keeper and they have little giveaways if you catch uh, the, the right size fish and drawings and stuff like that. And you can post up on Instagram. Uh, for us with uh, pan fish it's 6 inches, trout 12 inches, bass 14, walleye 16, and everything else is 18 inches. Uh, basically the rules are catch and win. Catch a fish using the baits in the box. Use the measuring below as your keeper. Shared a picture under Instagram under MTV Keeper under Instagram. So anyway, let's crack open this thing. There's some there's a ton of stuff in this box. Pretty pretty excited about this. Alright, so we get the Dibble magazine out. And basically it's a little Dibble pamphlet out. It's got the it's up there and I'll put this up here and pause it so you can see the prices. We are looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dot or excuse me, ten baits are in this box. That's pretty insane. So anyway, let's start off with the first one. We are looking for the Weston Mega Tease Baits. And that's these guys right here. They are like a little tiny chartreuse uh, swim bait. Uh, basically, this is going to be a good bait to drop shot for. Drop shot has been a very popular thing, excuse me, in the largemouth bass and bass fishing industry. Um, but it's really effective on uh, especially schools of bluegills. Uh, drop shot inside the beds when they're breeding are uh, um, and also finding schools of uh, Excuse me crappie drop shot that down into the beds drop that shut down in the uh, Gravel bottoms rock piles stuff like that. And it's a killer. It's a killer killer technique um, We will be doing that. I'll be going over videos on how we do that here uh, but Anyway, we're going to crack this open in this little cassette here and my computer just shut off, so sorry about the lighting there. Uh, oh, it's a sick little bait. Look at that. Look at that action. I'm just shaking because I shake normally all the time. But look at that. Let me see if this light makes a difference. Oh, yeah. Much better. Um, totally, totally badass looking bait there. That is going to be crazy. So you're going to hook that on a drop shot hook. Put a weight down below about 12 inches, and you're just going to Jiggle that side. Just that sudden movement of that tail is just going to make them go insane. So anyway, that's that bait right there. I'll go ahead and put that back later. Uh, the Mega Tease, that's $5.99 for that bait there. Next thing we're looking for is the Rebel um, Bumble Bug. Now, Rebel makes a lot of cool little baits for topwater panfish, like the Cricket Hopper, the uh, any Crawfish to make a Helgramite. And this bait here, if it's what I think it is, it's pretty, pretty crazy. Yep, and that's what it is. It's the Bumble Bug from Rebel. We'll go ahead and crack this bad boy open. This is another bait I'm going to use on top water. I'm going to throw it over some beds, over some little weed bulbs. And it's going to, you want to throw this near the weeds or near brush bulbs because what's going to act like is a bug fell from the trees into the water. But I don't know if you can see that there. That is pretty insane. Um, I'm not sure. This is the June Bug, which it does look like a June Bug beetle. Just look at the detail in that bait, man. Tiny little hooks. This thing's going to be killer. I know they make other colors in this. Um, I'm going to look into them and see if I can pick up some more and do some reviews on them. But, man, I'm super impressed. And basically, you're just going to drag that so it goes underwater a little bit. Just like it's a helpless bug that just fell in. The, and uh, your bluegills, your um, smaller bass or smallmouth are just going to tear that sucker right up. And that bait there uh, runs at $5.99 as well. All right. Next thing we have is the Lunker Hunt. Straight up, love Lunker Hunt baits. I use a lot of their 
uh, frogs and stuff for topwater fishing. Um, this is the straight up. Now, I know Rapala makes a certain bait that looks like this as well. Um, it's really good for vertical jigging uh, into brush piles and once again into the beds. But I know a lot of guys use these for ice fishing too, which I plan on doing. And this is the Lunker Hunt straight up. And this is the white bass pattern. And actually what's nice about the white bass pattern is there's a lot of lakes here in New Jersey that are full of white bass. And this will be pretty effective in there for any of the species that target them. Um, that's the bait right there. And what it does is uh, you can remove this hook, which is I don't think the Rapala ones do. But you can remove those hooks and you're going to basically tie the line there. And when you vertical jig it, if you notice the tail on it is kind of is forked a little bit. So when you pull that up, that bait is going to basically go side to side, up and down. And then when it falls, it'll fall slowly like this. Jig up, fall slowly like that. Uh, this does have a little bit of weight and it's all solid metal. But uh, this is our effective base. I've used the Rapala versions of these. And they're really killer on the ice. Um, excuse me. So that guy there, he runs at five uh, seventy-nine a piece. We gotta check to see what other patterns they have. I know Lunker Hunt does some pretty crazy patterns with their baits. I'll go ahead and put that over there. Uh, next thing we have is the Jenko Fish and Slasher jigs. I've used these before in the past. Uh, they're a great little sharp jig. Uh, so we got. Um, these are the big T's, chartreuse jig. These are uh, one thirty tooth ounce. And what's cool about the slasher jigs is the, the way they're designed. Um, I don't know if I can get this to focus right, but there's the slasher jig, and I don't know if you can see, but I'll use my own little screwdriver as a pointer. They have a little uh, bait keeper right here, so when you push that bait on, the bait's not going to get pulled off. By the, the smaller panfish that might yank the things and if you also look too it's got that sickle style hook the way it's bent great for hook sets and stuff like that uh, looks like you get five in a pack and those are uh, 549 for five of them and you can never run out of jig heads on jig heads for everything all right let's keep going that's uh up to number lore number five for we got the Lunker Hunt Magic Beam. Lunker Hunt has been really stepping up their game for small, smaller species fish. Um, they're perched, crappy. I know they got some soft plastics now coming out too. But this is the Magic Beam. Um, it's basically like a little uh, <coughs> one fourth ounce. Uh, I don't know what you would call this kind of bait. Go ahead and crack it open. It's a swim style bait. I guess you could jig it too. Um, come on there. It's a heavy bait, so it's going to cast far, which is good if you want to just rip it across weed beds and stuff. But that's it right there. The magic bean it is a chartreuse neon color. You're basically getting, man, I can't butterfingers. You're going to basically tie the bait there. This little blade's going to flicker. You can vertical jig that sucker, stream it through the water, and that little flash is going to trigger on there. And that guy runs about, it's $4.99 for that little guy. I'm going to put all these back later. Uh, probably going to go straight to my tackle box. Uh, next thing we got is the Lip Zipper Z Spoon. I don't fish too much with spoons. I will admit that. Uh, something I want to do more of. I do use, use spoons and rivers for trout and stuff. But this is the uh, Z Spoon Lip Rippers. Uh, one, one fifth ounce. It's kind of strange. I've never seen that size. Uh, I'm not going to open this up. Directions simply cast out your Z spoon and let it sink to your desired depth. Once it's in the zone, point your rod tip down towards and reel in at a medium to fast pace. Uh, occasionally pausing it to twitch it, it will drive the fish wild. <laughs> That's it right there. That's pretty cool. Um, I actually see this being used um, in my area for uh, pickerel. Um, Pickerel, we do really good with spoons and stuff like that, especially on big spinners like Meps, uh, Phoebe's, uh, stuff like that. So, anyway, that's a zip spoon. Uh, I'll give it a try. Um, and that is at $4.49 for that little guy. 
Acme Tackle Castmaster. Tried and true. Uh, whoa, this is a small one. I've never fished with a small one like this, but uh, 124th of an ounce. That's it right there. Yeah, so I'm not going to crack this open. Uh, lat, uh, earlier this year, when we were shad fishing the Delaware River, um, a lot of guys use shad darts or shad spoons. And I was messing around with cast masters. And basically, what I did is I took the bigger cast masters, checked, traded out the treble hook, which I may keep on this uh, next year. But I put on a single hook, and we were slaying the um, the shad this year. It was, it was it was a fun time. Ask my buddy Justin Global Fishing on Instagram, and he'll tell you too. Uh, anyway, I'll definitely be throwing this little guy out. This would be good for trout too in the rivers. Uh, Red breast sunfish will tear this up too. Three forty nine for that little guy. Northern Lights plastic split tails for soft plastic. Uh, it's a chartreuse scented. Uh, huh. It's kind of funny what they have on here. Uh, it's got hashtag save the minnows. We're basically talking about uh, trying to save using save your use of live bait to soft plastic. Well, this is a basic, nothing fancy split tail. I'm going to run this on those slasher jigs. The little chartreuse jig head, or bait, plastic bait. I'll give that a two. No more drowning minnows. That's pretty funny. I don't know if you guys see that. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys, I have a cold. 349 for that. Next thing we got is some hooks, some snelled hooks. Uh, I don't really use snelled hooks that much. So most likely I'll be giving this to one of my nephews or something like that to put in their tackle box. Dollar fifty, and uh, okay, I see what they did. Huh? Okay. There's snell hooks and regular hooks in here too, as well. There's panfish hooks and snell or Aberdeen hooks in there, so it's kind of like a two two pack thing there. So overall, uh. To give us this cool little sticker i'll add to my sticker collection um overall pretty impressed with this box um i think i'm gonna give one more box a try go for there i know i've said it before that i wasn't going to be doing these mystery boxes anymore but i wanted to give this one a shot and see what it was all about uh since it was more headed towards my my thing um i was going to go out tomorrow since i'm off but we got so much rain we're in a big flood advisory like a monsoon here in jersey so, but, um, anyway, guys, I appreciate it. You sticking with me, staying loyal with me. Um, I'm going to put my social media links down below. Go ahead and hit those up for me, Instagram, and follow me on my Facebook page, too, as well. And if you stumble across this, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button. You'll get, uh, notifications every time I make a video. But anyway, guys, that's, uh, that's it for the Lucky Tackle Box. Um, we're going to see what, or not Lucky Tackle Box, excuse me, Mystery Tackle Box. Uh, Lucky Tackle Box I'm no longer messing around with. Uh, since they merged their trout box with their panfish, I just wasn't excited about that. Uh, but yeah, with the next season coming up, we're going to be pursuing a lot of different species. We're going to go out for catfish. I want a muskie this year, next year, so I'm going to be doing a lot of muskie fishing. But uh, we'll still be out there pan fishing. We're going to do those tips and techniques that we promised. Um, we're going to do a lot of a lot of stuff this, this coming year. So anyway, guys, stay tuned. More stuff is coming out. Thanks for watching. And uh, stay safe on the water.